at home right now getting ready for the afternoon. But she joins us here on the phone as well talking about this this really unique warning, Megan, that if you can, I don't remember the last time we had a tornado warning here, but <coughs> if you can tell our viewers basically, what are we dealing with? Oh, hi guys. I do remember when we had the last tornado warning. It was opening day of Echo <laughs> Park for the Padres. There you go. Uh, <laughs> it was right before our midday newscast, um, and that was up in Valley Center. But uh, it is very rare. So just because we've seen two in the last you know year or so, it is still very, very rare. So I have been tracking this um, using the radar just on my phone. I've been posting on Instagram. So the curvature uh, has been weakening. So that is some good news. So Jared was mentioning the rotation. So. This storm system originated further to the south. Um, it was just north of the Bonita area, and that's actually when it had the greatest amount of rotation with it. It is moving further to the north right now. So, uh, see, I can see the radar. If there's any way you could zoom into the La Presa area. So that's kind of the cell that had the rotation with it. You could actually see a really nice notch in the um, radar that has subsided significantly so that is some good news we do have about 15 minutes left to go on this tornado warning it is moving in that uh, northwest direction it's headed up towards spring valley towards el cajon but like i mentioned i think the big takeaway here is that the rotation it was actually pretty defined so actually right right i emailed you guys and i posted on on, on social media the marine weather warning was issued for this same storm system. And I was like, you know what? There's like a little bit of rotation with that. And then within a couple of minutes, the National Weather Service issued that tornado warning. So and again, the rotation has improved quite a bit. It has weakened quite a bit, but we're still in this tornado warning and you should still take precautions. And Megan, I think it's important to point out also, and maybe you can explain the difference between this. This is a radar indicated tornado That's warning right. as opposed to a visually indicated tornado warning. What's the difference between the two and why is that significant for a storm like this? That's right. Um, so a radar indicated means that we are seeing rotation on the radar not that somebody has seen a tornado. So this is a tornado mean, warning means that a tornado is possible, but it has not been, oh, and they just extended it. It looks like a new tornado warning, so they should have mm -hmm. just popped that on um, until 1245, the National Weather Service. So a radar indicated tornado warning means that not necessarily that a tornado has happened or is occurring right now, but there is rotation and it is possible that a tornado could um, form. So uh, if you want to pop up the new wa warning, the new tornado warning was just issued. Uh, it's moving north. So that cell that is right near Spring Valley and headed again towards like El Cajon and then onto Bostonia. Oh, the radar just updated. That is the cell that we are tracking that could possibly have rotation with it. So I know that you see very, very heavy rainfall over Mission Valley on the radar. That is not the cell. So it is farther to the east. I know the red kind of might throw you off, but um, there's the new updated tornado warning. So that goes until 1245 this afternoon. Again, the curvature where the rotation is right now, the cell that we're tracking is now passing through La Presa and it's headed towards the Spring Valley area. So that's the cell that we're tracking that possibly could have some rotation with it. But as Jared mentioned, it is important to note that a tornado has not been spotted um, as of yet that we have reports of. It is radar indicated saying that the radar is showing that there is rotation and a tornado could possibly be occurring. But you still need to get to your safe place, the most interior place of your home. If you are in that tornado warning, now is the time to do that. So. The most and center portion of your home, sometimes that's the bathroom. Jared, I know you've covered <laughs> tornado Yeah, I was, I was just going to mention, as far as like where to go, if you've never been in something like this, the most interior point of your home, away from glass, away from windows, away as far as you can from any walls that touch the outside of the building. You want to get to an interior room. And you know, we're not, I don't think, at the point where you need to pull a mattress over you in the bathtub, since it's, it's radar indicated right now. But certainly you want to be cautious and careful in this situation. Yeah, exactly. And you know, and, and I stayed on the West Coast for my career on purpose because this <laughs> is the kind of stuff that we are not used to. And, and Megan, I know you mentioned there was another warning here within the last year or, or so. You and I have been in San Diego for a while. Prior mm -hmm. to that, can can you remember when the last one was? I 
since I, oh, you know what? There was one, um, gosh, I don't remember exactly when it was. Uh, I remember it was during our evening newscast. I, it was a few years ago. And besides that, I don't remember any. Yeah, so I mean, so so I it's been some time. <laughs> yes, it's been some time. So it was at least a few years ago. And then before that, you know, our my 10 years here, I don't remember a tornado warning ever. So yeah. this is very, very rare. And, you know, and again, you know, I, I live in the South Bay, so I am getting a lot of questions here from just family and friends about what's going on. So it's great to have your expertise. It has been extended. So in, in the meantime, you, you talked about folks being inside. What, what else would you say to alleviate people's concerns or put everything into perspective? Uh, I would say that you know, this is not a tornado that you see in Oklahoma. This is not going to be one of those uh, tornadoes that you see, you know, in Kansas. This is not an EF5. This is going to be some rotation, some strong winds. Um, and, you know, as Jared mentioned, we're not at the point where you need to go into your bathroom and put a mattress over your head. Yeah. But it could be a strong storm, a lot of rain coming through. You could notice those winds. They could be whipping around. But, uh, you know, when we get tornadoes, if we get tornadoes here, they're te typically, you know, very weak. You know, EF zeros, EF ones. Um, and we really actually won't know if there's been a tornado unless somebody spots it until tomorrow when the National Weather Service that goes out and, and does a survey for it. And even right now, Megan, as you were talking about, we pulled up the current wind speeds. And, and you're right, we're seeing 13 miles an hour in El Cajon, 17 miles an hour in San Diego, other parts of the county not even registering, uh, just calm. And that kind of shows how isolated this cell is as it moves through just that specific area where it's affecting right now. The National Weather Service still in its warning is saying there is the threat of flying debris from the winds and the rotation. There is the threat to things like mobile homes that could be damaged, roofs, windows, vehicles, tree damage, all of that. Uh, so even if we don't see that kind of spout, that, that rotational spout of a tornado, there's still the threat of winds as they pick up when the mm -hmm. storm moves through. Something for people to, to understand. This is not to cause a panic. This is just to raise awareness of what is possible because of what the radar is seeing right now. Yeah, I actually remember another tornado warning. Um, I believe it was during the pandemic, and it was during it was uh, for Imperial Beach, and um, a tornado warning was in effect. They thought that maybe a tornado went through, and then when the National Weather Service came and did the survey, they de determined it was just straight line winds, but it still ripped a, a roof off of like an apartment complex. So, even though even if there is a tornado or not expect some very strong winds to come through and some very heavy rainfall. So, you know, you always, you want to take precautions. Yeah. Even and if there isn't one. I mean, we don't get tornado warnings very often, so you need to take them very seriously. Exactly.